Well, Ellie Phillips Career Development Center has been around since 1959. Our mission is to help people with disabilities and also with individuals that have barriers to employment. What we really do, like any other company organizations, we try to rebuild confidence in people. We want people to feel like they're in a safe environment. And we're really an organization that focuses on, on effort and trying, and if you do those things, the results will come. And we have a lot of good partners in the community that people can hone their skills on, whether it's in packaging, in assembly, in building products. We do an overall assessment, and we will work with you just to get to the highest result that you're looking for. We are shipping completed product about 10 to 15 semi-loads of completed work every week. And I think when you come and tour our facility or you come by, people are usually amazed with how much work people are getting done. Uh, we do free lunches every month. We do themes which are for Valentine's Day, for Halloween. We print lots of different shirts for people that they can wear depending on the event. This past year was our 10th year that we bought shoes for every one of our employees and brought them over to Shields to have them pick out what they wanted. We're part of the community and we really rely on the community members. Whether it's the express game that we go to in the summer, bowling for kids, we send our employees that are usually in Special Olympics that represent CDC. We want to integrate as seamlessly in the community as possible. Rock the Riverfront, this is coming on the 29th year, which we're part of. Rock the Riverfront is a community event and it's a way of giving back now to nonprofits and to the community in general. It's more than a run, it's really an event that people can kind of celebrate. And if you want to participate in the 10K or the 5K or one of the other races, you're able to do that. But mostly it's just to come out and see what everybody's doing and just uh, feel part of the community and part of a family. And I think that's what is the best part about the Rock the Riverfront is that it fuels all those values that we feel strong of, that the RCU feels strong of, and the community does as well. So we're appreciative that we're, we're part of you know the three organizations that are, that are doing this. Our main purpose is that we are service first. So we're gonna use those funds for the individuals that don't fit under a specific program that maybe get left behind, that we can just help them, and it's life-changing for some, and we can do that one at a time and make sure we get the best outcome for that person. This is the hardest part because there's three worthwhile organizations and we're always big on let's make the pie bigger and I think the challenge for our community is let's make this the biggest Rock the Riverfront that we can have for 2023. But again, we appreciate the support of the community. We appreciate being part of Rock the Riverfront and come out and just keep voting and keep participating.